Hi, welcome to our channel. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen me before, my name's Cliff, um, and today we're just doing a quick five minute um, talk about layouts and getting started. Um, just before we actually start, the last one was about brushes. Obviously, Sable is the best sort of hair you can get in a brush. Um, they do a mix of uh, various types of hair, but Sable obviously is your better. Um, paints. Whether it be airbrushing, um, there's all sorts of paints out there, water-based paints. And I have to say, there's a lot of people out there pushing all types of water-based paints, whether it be health and safety or what I don't really know. But you cannot beat solvent-based paints. When you're airbrushing, they clean the tip of the needle as you're using them. You don't suffer from dry tip. They adhere to the surface really well. I mean, the water-based paints, it's like spraying water on top of an oily surface. It just doesn't want to adhere. It's not very good. You can't really mask over. So if you're having trouble, you really want to go to solvent-based paints. But that's my preference, but no problems with that. Right, getting back to um, setting out if you're doing some lining or come up with a design. Um, I always find if I come up with a design, I'll just scribble it out on a bit of paper, rough. Once I've done that, if I'm happy with the sort of shapes that I've got, then I will take another piece of paper and lay it on top. Now, if you have a light box, that's great because you can just see through it. Or you can put it on a piece of window with a light shining through and you can trace. Or you can use a bit of tracing paper. I tend to put it up against the window and have the sunlight come through and trace around it. So, the next step then, you have your basic design, you'll put your piece of paper over the top and you would then end up with something basically a bit more like this, so it starts getting a bit more accurate. When you've drawn your rough bit of, uh, you've traced over the top, then I sometimes get a felt tip and I'll trace over again to see how I like it. Sometimes you can get a rubber and then you rub your pencil away and it just leaves the felt tip and that may be good enough. Or you can then refine it by then tracing over the top and coming up with your finished design. Now, when I tend to draw things, when it comes to circles, I find a dotted line is easier to draw and it looks more a better rounded shape when you do dotted line. Obviously, if you're, you're straight, etc., do a solid line, but I find it easier to just, it's easier to go with a little dotted line because your eye sees it more as uh, a round rather than try and actually draw in a sort of circle with your hand, it's easy just to do a series of dots and it looks better. Now, <coughs> excuse me, once we have our design, now we've got to transfer this onto whatever we're going to pinstripe. Now what I tend to do is turn it over, get a piece of chalk, if it's a black tank, petrol tank or something, then we'd use white or we'd pick a colour that's sort of opposite to what we're doing. So, we would actually then get a piece of chalk and we would just chalk the back. Now, what you don't want to do is have too much chalk, so we might then get a piece of cotton cloth and we would wipe some of the chalk off the paper. And then we would turn it over, position our work, and then with a pencil, we would then just trace over it and then when you lift off your work what you'd have is a little chalk outline. Now you've got two options then you can either just pinstripe over the top of the chalk or you can get a china graph pencil if you want to and then you could actually just trace over your chalk with a china graph and then you can wipe it off and just leave the china graph outline there and take the chalk away. Right China Graph Pencil, it's a, it's a sort of a waxy pencil, it's what people write on glass with. Um, these come in various colours, this one is like a self sharpening, we just pull the string down and just unwrap it and you take the paper off and you end up with more tip. But basically these things are great for writing on glass, 
um, petrol tanks, anything. It doesn't scratch the surface and you can just wipe it off afterwards. A bit of white spirit or whatever when you're finished. And they come in various colours which is great. The only thing you have to be careful of, when it gets really warm, they do tend to get a bit soft so you need the lightest of touch if it is quite warm where you're working. But other than that, brilliant. Right, someone had um, said that they've been doing some uh, pinstriping, obviously where they'd marked the panel out in pencil, they'd obviously left some basically scratches in the paintwork. Um, so once they've done their pinstriping, when they come to wipe everything off, you can see these lines where they've marked it out. That is where going over with your chalk is one way of not marking your panel or your China Graph pencil. You do not want to use a pencil because that will damage the paintwork. And actually very good at marking out exactly where you're going to pinstripe. But sometimes if you're doing things freehand, you, some, you vary, you deviate sometimes from your marking out. So China Graph pencil is very soft, will not damage your panel. And obviously the chalk, better still, it doesn't. Um, the secret is there though, is just not to put too much chalk on the back of your paper before you do it. Okay, if you um, leave a comment below on the video of things that you have problems with um, or something you're not quite sure about, then just let us know and we'll, um, we'll give you some information.